In today's video, we're going to look at $1 million in the roofing business. The roofing business is very different from a lot of other businesses and the roofers early on start counting their sales, their numbers, their profits, their death in millions. This is my $1 million earned! We're going to look at the five different categories in business from five different angles pretty much at $1 million and what does it mean in the roofing business. If you're the homeowner, you don't have to watch this video. This video is mainly for roofers. And if you're the homeowner, maybe you trying to negotiate better deal for yourself because you think your roofer makes so much money, you might watch it to the end to understand why we charge so much and why we make so little. Thank you guys so much for coming. So roofers, do you really know your numbers? I see it all the time where roofers get in really, really big trouble early on because they don't understand their numbers. So let's talk about it. In sales, what does it mean to have $1 million? $1 million in sales is actually not very hard to do. If you sell average two roofs per week and your average ticket is only $10,000, do the math. Even if you take two weeks off per year, you still have 50 weeks, you sell on average two roofs per week, with a $10,000 average ticket, boom, you just made $1 million in sales. It's actually not hard. You have to understand the metrics, average sale. Sometimes you might sell five per week and other week you sell one or nothing. But overall, if you average just the two roofs, it's very easy. It's not hard to be a million dollar producer if you have discipline, if you spend time on education, self-development, if you try to become a better salesperson, if you actually have good name, good reputation, million dollars, it's very easy to sell in a roofing business. And if you're not million dollar producer, you should really start educating yourself, take sales trainings, it may be invest in sales system highly recommend you because sales is very easy in roofing and if you only get like 200 leads a year with a pretty much 50 percent closing rate you can sell 100 jobs two jobs per week like i said ten thousand dollars boom one million dollars very easy number very easy to reach let's look at one million dollars in other categories in profit so roofing is net profit should be anywhere from seven to fifteen percent the most i've ever seen actually in my circles about 13 14 percent that's net so if you sell one million dollars business can make anywhere from seventy thousand dollars to 130 140. now there are companies who sell high profit sales system they also have a lot of markups so you definitely can do more on the upgrades and sales and i'm not saying that you cannot do more you obviously can do more like job to job but i'm talking about residential retail your 90% of business out there should be right there between 7 and 13, 14%. Again, net. It depends on your overhead, how smart with your money, if you put money back in the business, if you're the spender, how much you spend on materials, on labor, if you subcontract everything. There's a lot of factors how much you spend on marketing. I mean, if you spend on marketing 10, 15%, I mean, all of that gonna affect your margins, but I'm just saying overall. So $1 million in profit, like pure profit, if you wanna build a business that generates you $1 million every year, on average, you should be doing anywhere between 7 million a year and 13 million a year. So once you get to those numbers, you're pretty much millionaire every single year over and over and over again. $10 million in sales per year should guarantee you about million dollars in profit. Let's talk about that. This one actually very, very easy too. If you don't have a discipline, you're gonna start borrowing money from your suppliers. You're gonna be behind in your bills. I actually have seen a lot of contractors who file bankruptcy because they own a million dollars to ABC supply and they're like, I was surprised by that bill. So when you go through you know, three, four, five million dollar a year worth of sales and that credit line, you're talking about like half a million, couple million a year, at the, like per month sometimes, it's very easy to own them $500,000 and actually not have money to pay. Sometimes we take big jobs and we underestimate them. I've seen a lot of contractors in commercial space, especially who underestimated in a couple hundred squares. They still managed to finish the job, but at the end of the project, they couldn't pay their bills and they had to file bankruptcy for protection. It happens all the time. I declare bankruptcy! A lot of times I see people start buying, you know, with their cash, boats, trucks, 
you know, all the fancy stuff, vacations, and then at the end of the year, they don't have money to pay a bill a supplier. So $1 million is actually very easy to do, like acquire in debt. And I've seen contractors go into business because how easy they can get those loans, how easy they can get those big credit lines. And it literally, you know, closes companies. So when I hear people say, well, I'm a million dollars in debt, I'm not surprised. If you don't have discipline, you, you don't have financial education, you don't understand your numbers, boom, you're just asking for trouble. Uh, I actually spend a lot of time in my roofing business class on the numbers. Like I advise people not to take credit un unless you absolutely have to. And uh, I mean, it's, it's okay to own $1 million if you have $2 million common or $1.5 million common in the receivables. But if I ask you how much do you owe, you say $1 million and I ask you what's your receivables and you have no idea, well, now your business is in real trouble. Fourth angle, number four, it's in savings. This is also very controversial. A lot of people have been giving me a lot of heat. I'm a type of guy who watch pennies and some people say you have to spend money and you have to spend a lot of energy on sales. And I agree with it, I do, but I also do math. If you save $200 just because you buy in bulk materials, right? So like that's what pizza companies do. You, you know, you need to understand once your business scale, if you save couple cents per box, like at pizza places, they can get better box and you know three cents cheaper and they save three million dollars a year the same in the roofing business when my business does one roof every single day and i switch from one underlayment to another and i save ten dollars on the underlayment on every single job all of a sudden i'm saving one two thousand per week and you can actually get million dollars not a year probably but in a couple years you can get in rebates in different kickbacks from suppliers, from manufacturers. So roofing is also a very generous industry when it comes to kickbacks to the contractors. So when you buy smart, when you save money on materials, when you use rebates, when you use a lot of you know perks in the industry, you can actually build a nice asset. Like I do a lot of home remodeling in my own house and it's all legal, but like, for example, we have stores that gives you like 11% rebate. I mean, I buy a couple roofs from there and then at the end of the year, I have $10,000 store credit that's already right off. I don't have to pay taxes with it. So we literally can save a million dollars over like five year period to do something else. So you can definitely save if you're smart and you scale, but you have to be smart and you have to know your numbers per project and how it ends up on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. And lastly, guys, one of the most important is number five, value in business. One day you wanna sell your business, and I believe you should be in business only for two reasons. One is sell it, and two, pass it on to your kids. There's no other reasons. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of roofers who get to that point where they actually have value in the business. So if you wanna have at least $1 million value in your business, it's all doable. You just have to invest in your brand, invest in your system, make sure business runs by itself. Like I, I've been getting offers to buy my business for the last couple of years. People have been approaching me because I'm not there and it's running and it's running really, really well. So you have to understand what buyer will look at. Like, do you have assets? Do you have systems? Are you in the business? And what will happen if you get out of the business? Will it collapse or if it's gonna keep making money? To have a $1 million in value of business, my estimate you have to do about four to $5 million minimum per year. Actually, if you if the number's really good, you can reach it about 3 million yearly sales. So if you do, 400,000 net profit, you can actually sell it three or four times that, like 1.2, 1.5 million dollars. Like I know people who've sold gutter companies. I've known people who sold other construction businesses. I know one guy who sold roofing business. So it's completely doable, but it's not that easy to get $1 million if you're all in and you don't have solid assets and process in a business. So like I said, if you want at least $1 million for your business, it has to be running without you and you have to be making at least three, $4 million a year and then you have $1 million in value in your business. Let me know in comments below what $1 million means for you. I would like to hear from you. Is it easy for you to sell a million bucks? Is it easy for you to become a millionaire or you just absolutely don't understand how it's happening because you barely can meet your needs today? And um, if you need help, I 
highly recommend you attend one of our classes. We talk about stuff like that. I open all my books, how I do business. Also show you a lot of my clients and I give you a lot of examples and I show you people who actually have sold their businesses and how they've done that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me one of those if you like content like this and we'll make more of them.